Last week, on Thursday Night Therapy, our players continued their unplanned voyage aboard the Wormwood. Some punishment was handed out, with Torin taking what turned out to be four lashes at the main mast, the fourth of which was administered by Plug himself after she decided to spit in his face. <laughs> He was able to avoid any further punishment and after was actually helped and healed by a new friend, Sandara, who was also able to return Torin Spell's book. Our adventurers then took part in some pirate pastimes on deck and became acquainted with a few more of the crew. The night itself was uneventful. But the following morning, Plug had sent some of his goons to enact some revenge upon Torin. Luckily, she did not have to face this alone, as the rest of our adventurers sensed something was afoot and jumped to her aid, fighting off the attackers. As the crew began their day of work, Devi discovered that Krupp, the cook, was hopelessly drunk and that he would have to take care of the preparation for the day's meal by himself. This situation was not made any better by the arrival of Mr. Plug, who informed him that the captain had requested Turtle this evening, and that Devi would have to catch them himself. Devi requested help due to Croup's condition, but Mr. Plug refused. But Devi decided to threaten him and that is where we continue. <laughs> so I'm just keeping my eyes locked on him. Second. Have an audio issue here. Alright. I'll just stop this. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to open the tab so I can adjust the volume. Uh, so, Devi. Yes. Mr. Plug stands before you in the doorway of the galley. Right. With fury in his eyes. Good. He's staring intently at you, deciding his next move. He's obviously angered, but also aware that yours was no hollow threat. Especially considering the plethora of knives laid on the counter in front of you. You see his cheek twitching once, twice, and then he simply says, I will not tolerate such insolence. After which he turns and leaves. Leaving you alone in the galley. God damn it. <laughs> oh, very nice call. Um, so, is there anything you'd like to do? Has he left the room yet? Yep, he has turned uh, and left, and he's, as far as you can see, is he's left uh, this level of the ship. Okay. I mean, um, you rolled a relatively high intimidation check. Yeah. Um, as I said, he, you, he was obviously very angry. Um, but I think he's decided to play the patience game. At this point. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, okay. Um, right. So regarding, um, this is a technical question, uh, yep. and it is relevant. Um, the the uh, the pantheon of deities in our game. What are we using? The current fifth edition pantheon or a Pathfinder pantheon? Well, we'll probably just use a mix as it comes because, yeah. as I said, I I I don't really know the fifth edition pantheon, and you don't know the Pathfinder pantheon. So okay, um, we 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 are definitely using Vesmara from the Pathfinder world. Okay. Um, do you, do you have a specific question, and then I can? Uh, well, no, I was gonna. Uh, I was just. I was going to find a list of uh, whichever pantheon we're using and try and find a name to drop with the quartermaster, no knowing that she is um, 
superstitious. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. yeah. So I'm just going to look through this list. Um, now, uh, well, my my my. Torin other did. Sorry, Torin did tell you. Torin did tell you what happened. Yeah. So yeah. you know um, that uh, Sandara is a cleric of Basmara, and uh, being on a ship, uh, and then being pirates, you, 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 I mean, I think you could probably work out that that, if any name, would probably work. In terms of what she, I mean, most pirates, most sailors, especially in this region of the world. Uh, will will hmm. to Besmara. Okay. I mean, she's she's literally called the Pirate Queen. So. <laughs> right. Okay. 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 Uh, this 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 article that I have just pulled up is telling me absolutely nothing. So uh, I'll have to think on that. Um, okay. All right. Okay. It's okay. Uh, you think about that. You yeah. have a look at what you're looking for, and in the meantime, we can jump up onto deck. Yeah. Uh, for the rest of you. So, um, uh, Des, uh, you need a job for today. Yep. So, um, I'm going to let you decide upon that with a dice roll, so if you can roll a d6 for me. And Lanny and Torin, uh, if you like, you can have one of you roll a job for both of you, or you can roll your jobs individually if you like. Uh, I think rolling a job together might be good yeah i think we'd probably want to stick i i know that Torin would want to stick with someone she knew yeah mm -hmm. yeah i'm happy for you to, to have one of you roll and you can both have the same job me or you rich um go on you go for it all right which dice do you want sean uh d6 please i need six Really don't mind, Sean. I got a four. And I got a one! <laughs> yep, I see that. So, um, Des, the, uh, the man you worked with on the previous day, the guy with the uh, tattoos, you remember him? I do, I believe. Um, okay. Was it uh, Conquerbar? No, 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 that was the no, name. No, it wasn't. No, that was a name. Who, who was it over with yesterday? His name is Alkai. And if you look in the picture, it's him. He's at the very top left. Okay, yep. Yep. So he approaches you and says, uh, G'day, mate. You're with me, with me again today. We'll be pulling a lot of rope. So it's be fine. Got to learn the rope somehow, haven't I? <laughs> exactly. So follow me. And he leads you up the mast. Uh, not very far. And uh, showing you how to uh, work the, the ropes at this level. Uh, Lanny and Torin. Uh, Mr. Scourge approaches you. Hello, mate. Sleep well? Slept well, yes. But, uh... Yeah, brilliant. Right, um... You two, you're on uh, rat-catching duty today. Rat? So... Yeah. Really? You know, rats, creepy crawlies, bugs, cockroaches, anything you can find. I don't know what a fucking rat find. is, dickhead. <laughs> You say so. In simple enough task. Where are we going? And how many are there? As many as you can get your hands on. <laughs> Just go below deck. Find an empty barrel. Grab, kill as many as you can, alright? Alright. Yeah, 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 okay. We, uh, guess we better head down now then, Lanny. Let's go. Well, I suppose we'll, uh, wander <laughs> downstairs and find an empty barrel somewhere. So I'll 
put you over to the other screen. You're all now oh, on the ship, correct? Do that. Yep. So, um, yeah, if you go below deck one level, you'll be down to the main, uh, the main hold. As I said, there's not actually that much in here. There's definitely a lot of room for stuff. They don't seem to be carrying much at this time. Um, so, um, unless you have any inventive ideas on how you want to catch some things. Uh, got, I've got some idea. Mm -hmm. Um... See. I'm I mean, gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna open my coat. And yeah. I'm gonna let Zima come out. Okay. And I'm just gonna say to her, "Have some fun." Okay. And I'm just gonna let her see if she can get any. Having seen the. Back come out of Torin's coat. Lanny's just going to stare at it in amazement. It's like, oh, you have, have have a bat. Yes. Uh, and her name is her name is Zima. Oh, it's a very very nice bat. Uh, I'll telepathically tell her to come and hang off of one of uh, one of the beads around. Lanny's neck, and she'll just uh, sort of cock the head and flutter down to you, and just hang upside down on one of your beads, and sort of <laughs> nestle into any chest hair you may have. Uh, no, completely no chest hair whatsoever. <laughs> well, she'll just happily sit there for a moment while you look at her. <laughs> And um, while uh, Lanny is, is uh, enthralled by that, uh, I'd actually like to... Uh, how, how light is it down here? There are lanterns. There are lanterns, okay. So it's not... It's yeah. not That's alright then. Well, I mean, it's, it's, of course it's not daylight. I mean, if the, the hatch is open to go up, um, there is daylight coming through there. And there are a number of covered lanterns to give off some light. Uh, so it's dim light at best, I'd say. Well, in that case, uh, I have my. I've got my crystal in my pocket. So I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to cast light on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it glows. Uh, I tried to keep radius and bright light, an additional 20 feet is dead light. Okay. Uh, and it's small enough that if someone comes down the stairs into this area, I can just put it in my pocket and it will extinguish the light. Okay. And I guess I'll start looking for some rats. Yeah, and I'll let Zima okay. have a flap around once Lanny's done with the... Uh, playing with her uh well uh, as Mr. Uh, master scorch said it's not just rats there's like cockroaches and beetles that she could uh, find herself oh she'll have uh, fun if with she, those. yeah if she uh, has fun collecting them uh lanny did you have any uh, interesting um, ideas yeah. what did you just want to try and catch i mean i uh, go on lanny is going to start uh just kind of coming up here just having a look around some of the boxes moving a few boxes just seeing if anything jumps out um but what he is going to do as he's looking he will uh cast speak with animals as a ritual so essentially just just starts talking to zima and just starts chatting away to her um and uh, um, if i could interject on. yeah that you're going to say work. it doesn't work. Yeah, I... I no. uh, okay, but he's going to start doing it anyway. So he's yeah. going to start chatting away to her. She um, she looks like she understands animal. you, but she she doesn't respond in any way. Uh, okay. She's not an animal. Okay. It's cool. It's, it's part of my idea, part of my plan anyway. Yeah. To try and help some of these animals. Um, but as he's searching, 
Lanny starts off his hello bad, hello bad, how are you? And then he <laughs> softens his voice slightly and hello, hello bad. And he, as it gets, as he moves away and he starts to move further down the ship, um, he's actually drops his voice even lower again, uh, even even higher again, let's say, rather than being uh, more rough and, and uh, husky, he's actually a bit more of, a, of what you would class as sort of a regular voice. Um, and he's just, shall we start looking for some more animals, Zima? Is there anything we can find? Hmm, nothing under here. And he just carries on looking, just doing the same thing. But still talking to Zima the whole time. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really lovely. I like that. It's cool. That's cute. <laughs> so, um, uh, I would accept from you either a stealth check, a survival check, or a, just a dexterity check, depending on how you want to try and catch the rats. Uh, and again, as you have uh, the same option every day, you can either concentrate all of your time uh, on your job to give yourself advantage, or if you want to try and do something else, it's going to take up some more time, you, you get a single roll. Or, like, as I said, again, you can give yourself disadvantage if you want to do something other than your job, which is going to take up uh, a considerable <laughs> amount of time. Okay. Uh, and, uh, Torin, I'll actually allow you for you to roll once for your bat as well. Oh, lovely. As she is collecting independently of you. So, she will get... Uh, she would be using dexterity to try and catch things. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, a straight dex roll for Seema? Yeah, for her straight roll. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh, I can repaint her so she actually comes up to Zima. I'll do that later. Uh, mm -hmm. And I wonder when you let me shocking grasp of the rats when I'm getting them. <laughs> I mean, so could I roll an attack roll on them to sort of. Them? Yeah, my, my, I mean, you can try and shock and grasp a rat. That's not the, my issue is not how many, how many times could you actually do that? Uh, the cantrip, so I can do that once every six seconds. Oh, really? It's a cantrip? Okay. That's a cantrip, my friend. Um, <sighs> but it is to require a touch. The thing is, to, 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 to administer the shocking attack, you still have, you would still have to grab it. You know what it. I mean? So, no. yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think that would necessarily give you an advantage in terms of actually get, catching them and getting hold of them. That's fair. Uh, so, my options are stealth, uh, standard decks, or what was the other one? Survival. Survival. Well, ain't gonna be that one. Um, <laughs> I will do a standard decks check. Uh, I am spending all of my time doing this. I'm not, I'm not making the mistake. Okay. In that case, you can roll with advantage. Um, I'm not making the mistake of uh, spending less time than I should. We keep losing you, Nathan. Yeah, yeah I was you, just going to say, you, your audio is terrible. You're failing quite a bit. I was going to say, yours is terrible for me. Um, for me, see what I can do. Shall I, uh... Try... Uh, he should try just jumping out and in again for a sec. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's <that's> worse. <laughs> yeah, it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should pick Nathan. Alright, hold on. Uh, it's sud <laughs> it yeah. suddenly got better. Yeah, but it does that a lot. It jumps in and out. Of yeah. But when it goes yeah, out, it starts fading. That was bad for a, 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 like a two minutes. In, yeah. So like, do I should I say something? You no one else is saying anything. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I was literally just about to say something. How is this? 
much better. better. I mean, that sounds hey. better initially. Yeah. Were, were you just gradually getting further and further away from the mic? Uh, <laughs> I have a headset mic, so no. <laughs> uh, I don't know what is happening, but I, I unplugged it all and replugged it. and Hopefully that will solve the issue, and if not, then we'll just have to see. We'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Yes. Okay, so you got a 21. Yep. Which is a very good score. So, yeah, so you spend your time creeping around uh, and uh, uh, quickly grabbing any rats that you uh, are able to see. And if you want, you can immediately shock them, which would probably put them out of their misery fairly quickly. That is the plan. And Yep. And start collecting them in a box or barrel. And uh, your bat also brings in a, a decent amount of... Um, of insects. Love uh, Lanny? Um, yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just concentrate on what I'm doing, moving these boxes, trying to find animals. I'm gonna do it as a survival role. Uh, mm -hmm. And would you like to uh, spend all of your time on that today, or is there something else uh, you want to do? Yeah, no, 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 just concentrate on that, as long as you'll allow me just to be... Actually, no, no, I will do. If I find an animal, then I can catch it live i would like to potentially try and talk to one of these animals you mean like a rat yeah like a, yeah okay well let's see if you catch some first let's see what your role's like Ooh, bloody hell and i'll do okay yeah, yeah. so um <laughs> it's it's actually not unlikely that uh there's a rat population on the island where you're from and that rat might mm -hmm. actually be a part of your uh, uh, regular foodage, uh, in which case you would know how to catch them. And uh, you probably use a little bit of that knowledge now uh, to uh, to catch some rats. And uh, yeah, if you want to try and talk to one of them, you're more than welcome. Okay, so let's say I've managed to catch a rat, I've cornered it, I've grasped it in my hands, and I've just got it kind of by the scruff of the neck to start with, and then just trying to soothe it a little bit just talking to the rat hello rat and just trying to calm it down eventually <laughs> hopefully it settles slightly um and then i'd like to just lanny just kind of cuddles it softly almost a little bit and um just says to it um mr rat would you be able to help me any chance don't, don't kill me <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> so, it's okay, Mr. Rat. No, 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 don't, don't kill me. Let me go. You, you want to let me, let me go? Do you have a name? Uh, what? R no. Rat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rat. Um, do you... Uh, rat, do you ever hear any whispers around the ship? Anything that might be useful information. Uh, well, well, I, useful, yeah. Uh, 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 I know. Um, I know where good hiding places are, and um, um, I know where there's some some food we can eat. Um, uh, I know we, we we shouldn't go out in the daylight. That's that's useful information. Okay. Uh, can I go? Let me go now. <laughs> Anything useful to me, rat? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what you are. <laughs> hey. Wow. Um, I love the fact that you're trying to persuade a rat to give you information. This is the best thing ever. I love the indie. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think you have to bear in mind, Rich, like... He, he probably doesn't. It's a rat. This is the first time he's it's ever rat, been able rat. to communicate with no, a human. No, no. So. That's the thing. I'm just, 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 he's just spitballing his, his, more than anything. His, his view on, of the world is completely different to yours. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, what I'll do is actually I'll, I'll I'm going to find somewhere nice and dark, and I'm going to put the rat back in and let him scurry away. Okay, bye now. <laughs> <laughs> and he disappears. I, I am assuming you did keep 
other rats that you caught. Yeah, so, so let, let's just say that the first one that I caught was that one, yeah. and then after that, with hopefully with the roll that I got, I'd say I'd caught a few more. You um, probably caught that same one again, yeah, just later say. on. <laughs> There's no way of knowing if you caught the same rat again. But, um, okay. uh, as, well as, as well as a few other small critters, bugs, whatever else is on this ship. Oh, I love it. So, so good. While uh, while you're doing this, um, Sandara actually comes down at one point. She looks like she's on her way down to her to the sleeping area, and she approaches you both. And, um, uh, hi. Um, I I understand something happened this morning, but I I missed it. I is everything okay? Hey. Yeah. Um. We had a. A scuffle this morning. Uh, one of one of Plug's uh, little tricks. He sent a few guys to try and to try and rough me up, but Lanny and uh, and the twins uh, helped me fend them off. They're yeah, not going to try quite, that again anytime. It was quite fun. I punched him in the face. <laughs> well, I did. He's got a mean yeah. swing. This one. I'm, I'm glad you're okay, but I'm I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I mean, oh, it, it's we, it's fine. It's not. It's nothing to be sorry for. We uh, well, we, we dealt with it, we and kind of we we kind of agreed that we would look after each other and watch each other's backs, and then I literally just ran off and left you alone. I, it's all right. I'm sorry. Honestly, honestly, it's it's fine. Uh, it, I just had, I heard the bell and they said we had to get up there quickly. I, I, I it won't it won't happen again. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, I I wouldn't have expected you to get into a brawl uh, in the depths of the ship. Uh, but Lanny and Lanny and the twins, they uh, they uh, they uh, they they did they did a fair share. Um, but I, I appreciate it, but there's no, there's no apology needed. And I'll, I'll give her a smile and a little, and a little hug. She, she seems to accept that warmly. She says, still, I, uh, thank you. I, yeah, I, 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 I will keep my eye out for you in future. And I, you, I, I do have a question actually. Yeah. You you went to the quartermaster yesterday and uh, and uh, you got my book. Yes. Uh, could you could you have a chat to have a chat to the twins and see if you saw anything that might might be theirs? They're they're trying to hatch a little uh, a plan to use that superstition of uh, the quartermasters mm. to to maybe get some of their belongings back. Okay, I mean. I, I didn't want to tr try my luck too hard uh, yesterday when I got our stuff back, but I mean, I'm sure there's something we can do to get to get their stuff back. Maybe we can have to think about how the best way is to approach maybe, that. Maybe suggest uh, to them doing it another day. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I, it, maybe I said, if I you saw to... if you saw some of their belongings, uh, they might they might ask you if they. If you saw something and you might recognize something they're talking about, uh, okay. But uh, yeah. don't don't rush for it. Don't get yourself in trouble. Uh, no, no, maybe no, maybe when the work's done later. Uh, yeah, I'll have I'll have a talk to them and see what they're trying to get hold of. And... Yeah, chat to them. Chat to them with some grog later, and and we'll catch up. She turns what? to you, Lanny. What, did did you have anything you? Wanted to get back? Um, I mean, I've got, I've got a bag that should be maybe is in there. Um, I've got my cooking pot and a few other things in there, but not much, not anything of value. Okay. Well, I mean, there's a chance we might just get them back at some point. And she did say that the store also just works as a shop, so you could buy them off her, I, I guess, but I, well, 
and she drops her head. I'm, I'm assuming they took your money as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, I didn't have much though. Yeah, they took I, my money, but I only had a bit of silver, and uh, when I when I woke up down here, it was gone. So mm -hmm. either they took right. it or it fell out my pocket when they when they drugged us uh, on land. Yeah, well, I'm just glad I got this back and she motions to her symbol of this morrow. Anyway, I, I, I better get back uh, back to work before they notice I'm gone. What's your, what's your job today? Oh, they've got me lifting ropes around. Not on the rigging, on the deck. Yeah. It's bloody, bloody hard work. It's heavy. Oh, uh, we're catching rats, and I'll I'll pull out the uh, I'll pull out the crystal that I've cast light on, and I'll do it again. Uh, but we've got some we've got some tricks of our own, don't we? Give her a little <laughs> smile. Lovely. You. Uh, Lanny, Lanny lifts his finger up, and Zima's now hanging from his finger. <laughs> <laughs> You caught a bat in here? No, nope. she's uh, she's, and I'll, I'll snap my fingers, and she'll poof out of existence, and then snap the fingers again, and she'll poof back into existence in the arm of my coat. She's uh, she's, she's uh, she's a familiar. Oh wow, you certainly do have a few tricks in your jacket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, a couple. But I, uh, I, I only really knew a couple before I, I left the mainland, and well, it doesn't look like I'll be learning any more anytime soon. So we've got to use what we've got, eh? Yeah, exactly. I mean, saying that, I've no idea where we're headed. So, but no. yeah, I, our, our options right now are a little restricted, it would seem. But your your power is something that I've I've never I've never seen before or even thought was possible. So the whole the the world of magic is entirely new to me. Well, I strange. It's, to me it seems so natural, but I guess if it's something new to you it would seem seem strange. Anyway, we all have, I have uh, to get back. Yes, yes, of course. Go, go. Don't let them catch you down here. Yeah. I don't want to get a whipping. And she runs off. Up deck. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to jump to Desi. Sorry, Des or Devi? Uh, <laughs> Des. Both of them. <laughs> hey, you, you chose these names, so don't... <laughs> <laughs> the classic Vex and Vex. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, Des, uh, Alkai has got you up on the uh, the first rung of the mast, and as I said, you're mainly just wait on command, pulling in uh, ropes and letting out sails, uh, tying them off. It's it's similar to the what you did the day before. You're just on another section of the mast. Yep. Um, nothing too complicated. It's more this is like more of a physical job than uh, than anything else. Because uh, it's fairly strenuous on your forearms, uh, and of course you have to keep your balance up there the whole time. But there are often pauses in between where you're just able to sit and look out, enjoy the view, and feel the breeze. Um, one of these moments, you look out and you realise that in the distance you're just able to see land, uh, and if you look the other side, like looking uh, left and right. Uh, of you, or uh, starboard and port, as I should say, uh, you, in both directions, you do just just see uh, like uh, land. Uh, so it would seem that you're currently sailing some th through some sort of channel. As soon as I see this, I'll uh, shout over like, "Boy, Alki, see there's land over there. Yeah, Where's that?" Well, we're currently uh, we're heading south, so. And he, set, he shows the port, so that'll be the mainland, and starboard. That's uh, that's where the the shekels start. Oh, interesting. What's our uh, final destination then? 
To be honest, don't really know, mate. Uh, Captain's got a plan. We're heading south. Can't say more than that. Fair enough. So, <coughs> in these breaks, I'm going to be looking down on the deck to see if I can pick out any kind of routines or patterns for any of the uh, more established deck hands. See if I can see um, um, uh, Master Scourge and Mr. Plug, and see if they I can see if they're moving around down there on on a on a regular kind of routine. Uh, you do see them moving around uh, up and down. Uh, they will occasionally go up onto the uh, the poop deck where they will speak to the officers or the captain. Um, but they they seem to spend most of the time just like walking around and keeping their eye on the on the crew on the swabs making sure that they're doing the jobs that they should um i think it it'd be fairly obvious that this this is basically their job their their job is to keep an eye on uh the crew that aren't officers um you have officers up on the poop deck which seem to have more specific jobs like uh, navigation um there's another guy looking at plans um from this view i mean if you open up the 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 picture uh i think most of the people i haven't mentioned there is you would have noticed because you did talk about it the other day there is a woman there that you often see talking very closely to the captain she's two left of the captain and she is always carrying a, uh, a staff with her. Interesting. So, uh... so the captain is pretty much on on deck all, at all times, is he? Uh, not all the time. He will. Um, the guy on the far left is t taking the wheel if he's not there. But the captain is either on deck, on the poop deck. When he's there, he's usually at the wheel. And if you can't see him, then it's because he's down in his quarters. And he will disappear for a couple of hours, come back up for an hour. Um, I mean, there's no, like, it doesn't seem to be like any uh, set routine to that. Especially not one that you'd be able to discern on day one. You know what I mean? Okay. Yep. So aside, aside from the little breaks, I will be doing my job to the best of my ability. Okay. So that means you would like to uh, roll with an advantage. Yes. Uh, what am I rolling? Um, as I said, it's not difficult. It's just strenuous. So I need a Constitution check, please. Okay. Can I have a token, please? Oh, do you not have one? No. You stole my token. <laughs> Wait, do I even exist? I was just a figure of somebody else's yeah, magic. He's on there, I think. I see him. I might have put you onto the um, onto the wrong layer, actually. Oh yeah, I did. So hang on one second. Layer token layer. Okay, so constitution save or constitution check. Just a check, please. Um, have you found regular? your token? Yes, I have, yeah. Um, because I'm doing it to the best of my ability, was that advantage or is that regular? Yep, if you're, if that's what you're spending your time on today, mm -hmm. then you can roll the advantage. Okay. Uh, 17. Okay. Yep, that's more than enough. You're a well-trained guy, so uh, this doesn't seem to be any trouble for you. Uh, while you are working up there, al -Kai does to you at one point and he, he eyes upwards uh, above you in the rigging it's like you uh, you made a friend and uh, the woman that you pummeled this morning is uh, stood above you in the rigging and she's currently just she's kind of like half hidden behind the mast and then half like looking out but looking um, straight at you uh, and as you make eye contact, she 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 almost like hisses at you, like. 
<laughs> I'm just going to give a big old toothy grin and wink at her in a very theatrical way. So yeah, Alkai asks against friend of yours. Oh, we had a bit of a run in and down below decks, if you know what I mean. Not really, mate. Alright. Um, by which I mean to say, I punched her in the face three times and she fell over. Jesus. Be careful with that one. Why? Psycho. Yeah. I, you know, she's... Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, type to stab you when you're asleep, Psycho. I mean, that is the best time. I'm just saying, mate. Just might want to keep an eye open if you've pissed her off. I'll bet in mind. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'll look back up at her and uh, blur a kiss. She, she kind of hisses <laughs> you at you again and then swings off uh, to the rear of the ship. So, I'd like to see you go, uh, but I'd love to watch you leave. Uh, Devi. Yes. <laughs> um, so. What have you thought about? Uh, well, uh, everything I had planned tonight hinged on him attacking me, uh, and then he um, he wimped out. So um, uh, I'm kind of at a loss now. I, I I want to do my job well. I have absolutely no idea how to catch a turtle. Um, but before I start my duties. I do want to come over to this door because I haven't seen what's behind here yet. Um, is it locked? Uh, you could try the handle. Let me just check. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, no, it's open. Okay. Um, then I would like to um, knock on it twice, just in case it is someone's quarters. And if I don't hear anything, I will push the door open. Uh, you do not hear anything from inside. Cool. I would like to open the door, please. Okay. So I need to reveal this. Ah, okay. So see uh, two beds in here, mm -hmm. each with two lockers. Uh, yeah, it seems to be the uh, s small quarters of at least two people. Uh, um, looking at one of the beds, um, looking at the collection of empty bottles and stained bed sheets, um, this is, well, and it being directly attached on to the, the to the galley. Yeah. Uh, you could probably assume that at least one of these beds is Kroops. Okay. Uh, can I see... I want to look for clues as to who the other one might belong to. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to think what clues would you even... Give, uh, give me a perception check, I guess. Yeah. Uh, perception. Huh. Wonderful. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, no. I mean, there's stuff here, but um, nothing that would indicate a specific person on the ship okay. or even narrow it, narrow it down all uh, that much. I'm going to use my, my powers of deduction and assume that it is not uh, Mr. Plugs because I doubt he'd share a, a room with someone like Mr. Creep. So I will shut the door and come out, uh, and I'll go and find where Mr. Creeper slumped. Mm -hmm. um, is he rousing or is he back to sleep? No, nope, he's l currently laying on the floor snoring. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm going to give it one last try. Then I'm going to go over to him, give him a whack around the face, and I'm going to talk very plainly and clearly into his ear. You might want to get up, son. I reckon you've pissed off that Mr. Plug. You hear nothing but snores in return. Ah, okay. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Right. In that case, before I uh, do anything else, then I'm going to put him down. I'm going to store another few knives about my person. Um, okay. One in each boot. I'm going to tuck a couple down my trousers. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm basically. Just, I'm just gonna tool up. Um, and kind of hides them places. Um, is there? Can I make a roll um, to see if I can hide them well, so that they're not obvious, like sleight of hand or something? Um, I don't. Th I don't think that's necessary at this point. Okay. Cool. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, just putting them in your boot. I mean. Yeah. So I've got, I've, <laughs> I've, I've now got, how... <laughs> I've got one in each boot now, and I've got um, one tucked away in the small of my back underneath my cummerbund. Yeah, I mean you're you're not under any time pressure, so I mean. Cool. Uh, I'd and assume you, 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 you yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to grab some implements. What I reckon I might be able to catch a turtle with. Um, well, I think um, the last time you had a bit of a look around this room, I some, said... So there were some um, harpoons and stuff, weren't there? Yeah, there's there's three harpoons on the wall, a spear and a grappling hook. I'm going to take all of them. <laughs> Just gather them all up in my arms okay. and go up to deck. All right. And... Uh, and, and um, I'm going to try and catch a turtle, but I might just like stop a few people on my way past and say, do you know how to catch a turtle? Anyone know how to catch a turtle? Not asking to you to do it, just want to know how. Um, most, well, a lot of people ignore ignore you. Are you wanting to ask someone specifically? Uh, no, because or I do don't you know. Who, are you just generally asking? I'm asking anyone I pass on my way to a good spot where I reckon I might be able to catch one. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Tally, the guy with the red hair. Yeah. That your brother played dice with. He hears you calling out and being ignored and does approach you. And, uh, hello there. I understand you're trying to catch some turtles. Yeah, any idea how to do that? Only the cook is, um, well, he's passed out drunk. Uh, so. I'm supposed oh, to yes, be learning he, he, from him, and uh, I can't get anything out of him but snores. Yeah, he, he, he tends to do that quite, quite often. Um, well, uh, he looks at what you've, you're holding in your arms. I don't know if these are particularly useful. I mean, I fear this spear would just bounce off a turtle's back, but uh, he points to uh, one corner of the deck uh, next to the stairs. He says, there are some nets over there. I, I do believe using a net is the, the uh, best way to catch a turtle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right you are. Um, do, do you I have... don't know about this. And he, he, he <laughs> picks up the grappling hook. <laughs> if, no idea if this would work or not. Yeah, uh, yeah, I just brought everything I thought might have some kind of use. But uh, where did he point to on the deck? Just uh, where the stairs are in the corner. Oh, what, like there or? Yeah, no, I meant like here. Oh, okay, right, 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 cool. Alright, um, in that case, I'll, I'll say, right, uh, thank you very much for your help. Uh, sorry, what was your name, son? Tally. Oh, Tally, nice to meet you, Tally. I'm Devi. And I'll. Uh, Pleasure is all mine. Give him a, a friendly nod, and I'll quickly scurry off and put all this extra junk back in the in the galley, and then come back up on deck and uh, start <laughs> okay. start towards the nets. Uh, okay. And as as I'm yeah. going towards them, I'll just look around and be like, "No one needs to use these. Can I? Can I just?" Uh... And if no one stops me, I'll go right, right. And I'll pick it up and I'll move to the edge of the ship and see if I can spot any bloody turtles. <laughs> All right. Give me a perception check, please. All right. Um, while I'm doing this, I'm going to look up to the yep. rigging, uh, and I will shout up to my brother. I'll say, "Oh, bruv, 
When you see any turtles, let me know, yeah? What? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Roll twenty absolutely fucking what? hates me. <laughs> oh, wow. What is that? Hmm? You rolled twice or No, oh, just the, no. the other one. The first one was the other one. Yeah. Right. Uh, that was a one. Yeah, so you stand you stand there looking out. Um you do think you see something move like out in the water. Mm. Uh, further out. Um but even if they are turtles, which you can't deduce at this distance, it would be too far to catch with a net. I mean, these are like weighted nets with a with an attached rope. Yeah. Um, so that's 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 uh, not really going to help you. Folks. Uh, so as Des, requested, can I can I help my brother? Yeah, as he has asked, and from your vantage point, yeah, you can. Uh, uh, I can allow you to give a uh, perception check. <laughs> Not much better. <laughs> it's over ten. <laughs> it's better than I can do. That's all right. Um, what you no, Des, from your viewpoint, you notice that at the other side of the boat than where Devi currently is, uh, you start to see quite a, a number of turtles. Um, it would, I mean, other, and I'm just gesticulating wildly. Other side. I've I've a fucking side over there. All right, all right, gotcha. Cheers, cheers. And I'll I'll run over to the other side and start trying to catch one. Or yeah. maybe more than there one. Are I don't know. There. I mean, <laughs> I I think you would assume at this point that you're you're probably in, a, in an area known for turtles because there are a number of them swimming around. Okay. Um, and with your brother's help, you do spot one, which you think. It, I mean, it's not next to the boat, but you think it's close enough for you uh, to have a try. Yeah, I'll do it. At catching. So, um, I think I'm going to need a survival check. Hey. Yay. <laughs> I did a thing. So, um, you did a thing, yeah. So, um, not really knowing how these nets work. I mean, I don't know if you've had any experience uh, with them before. I'm assuming not. Not really. Um, but looking at the construction and the weights, you think you roughly know how it works. And uh, you uh, scrunch the net together in your hand with the weights the other end, and you toss it out, uh, out to the ocean. And um, perhaps by luck or skill, uh, you're not quite sure at this point. It does seem to land uh, over the turtle. And if you let the weight sink and pull it in, you now have one <coughs> turtle. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> now looking at the turtle, and trying to judge how much meat I can get off one of these things, um, yeah. do, I, do I surmise that I'll probably need more to feed the crew? <laughs> well... I mean, they are a decent size, sea okay. turtles. I mean... I imagine there'll be, like, the other things with it. Well, yeah, I mean, it's... The thing is, I, you probably don't know what the inside of a turtle is. <laughs> yeah, no, probably not. Shell. I mean, the f fins aren't a particularly, amount, uh, particularly large amount of meat. Um, I don't Give me an intelligence check. Okay. Uh... Okay. Yeah. That's not too bad. So as I said, I mean, there's not a huge amount of meat on the fins, but you're assuming there is actually meat inside under the shell. Mm. Um, you also got to keep in mind, it's the captain you have to feed with turtle, mm. um, and you don't necessarily have to feed the rest. So you've got enough to like technically fulfill what's been asked, but if you wanted to feed the whole crew with turtle, this probably isn't going to be enough. Right. Um, what I might do is get a couple more so that the officers have all got turtle and mm -hmm. then and then work out something for the rest of the crew okay all right give me another perception check please oh much better 
So just after you uh, you've brought in the, the one turtle and you're looking at it, trying to decide like, oh, is this gonna be enough? And, and you think, oh no, I better get some more. And as you do that and you stand to look out, just approaching uh, from the front, from the bow of the ship, quite close to the side, you see a, a group of maybe like half a dozen turtles. And by the looks of the the trajectory of the ship, it looks like you're gonna be sailing very, very close to them. I'm gonna try and cast the net over all of them if I can yeah so give me another um, uh, survival check to see how well you do that Ooh, don't fail me Eesh. not very okay. <laughs> not brilliant but as I said they were very close and grouped together so uh, that's enough to catch one though okay because it was fairly easy they were so close okay uh, you got lucky uh, with that perception check to see that they were uh, approaching just at that time. Cool, cool. Alrighty. So you got one more. Uh, the problem is now though that the the day is getting on and you <coughs> don't just have to catch them. You have to. Yeah. Got to cook them and stuff. Some meal. Okay. And then I will uh, I will call that a win and I'll get on because time is a ticking. Think about that. Is they come in their own bowl? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll head on back down to the galley, uh, see if uh, Fish Guts is awake by now. Still snoring. Right. <laughs> um, I'm going to start prepping these, but every time I come to a like a natural break where like I've just cut something up and put it in water or you know anything like that, when, when I've completed a part of the task I'll try and slap him awake again um, uh, and also try to find I doubt he has any but I'll try to find any like recipes that might be jotted down anywhere alright give me a perception check please. Uh, better uh, so you start looking like around the kitchen, around the shelves, uh, and as I've already explained, there's there's just stuff everywhere. Yeah. Um, especially bottles. This you spot different bottles of wine, and there's even some rum uh, amongst all of the ingredients and spices he has uh, um, uh, located around. Uh, but you do spot on the corner of one shelf a book, and. Um, it seems to be some sort of cookbook. Okay, I will frantically go through that and uh, see if there's anything that tells me how to best prepare turtle. Uh, yeah, you do. You do actually find a a recipe for preparing turtle. Success. So, um, um, in that case, I will allow you to roll the check to make the meal with advantage. Okay. Uh, what is this? Just two d twenty. Uh, yep. But I guess. Cooking would fall under survival. Okay. So, um, uh, yep. Survival so, check with advantage, please. With advantage, okay. Okay. Twelve. I think. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you're frantically like trying to follow this recipe. I mean, you have to, you don't just have to cook them, you have to like cut them open, mm. you have to get the meat off. You're, you're constantly searching for the, for the uh, ingredients that are requested by the recipe. Half of them you don't find, you're just substituting with whatever you can uh, find laying around the kitchen. Uh, it's, it's all a bit of an impromptu mess. Uh -huh. But you, the end result is you think acceptable I mean it's not terrible it's not the best food you've ever eaten but you're hoping that it's gonna be okay okay cool um. Um, just as you're finishing off uh, and whew, feeling a slight bit of relief that you've hopefully achieved your task you hear a knock on the door mm -hmm. I'll uh, open the door if it's not already open um, before you is standing a young girl. Oh, oh, hello. Um, 
hard to judge. She's in her teens. Okay. It's a little, little hard to tell. She's wearing ragged clothing. There's long brown hair. And she has, when you like look in her eyes, she has those, this kind of like wide eyed, red lined eyes of a child that may be seen a little bit too much too soon. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, she's actually the bottom right of the crew picture. Uh, okay. Crew picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She just says, um, hello, I'm here to collect the captain's food. All right. Right you are. Right you are. Um, what's your name? Corky. Corky. All right. Corky. Corky. Okay. Yeah, Corky. Corky will do. Um, and uh, what's what's your job on the ship, love? Oh, I I help the captain. I clean his room and bring him his food and. Oh, okay. And just a cabin. Just a cabin girl. Right, 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 right. Uh, quick, quickly, quickly, come here. Um, can you just cast your eye over this turtle? thing that I've made. Um, do you reckon you like that? It, she look, turns to see Croup who's still snoring mm. and then looks back at you and says it actually looks better than what he's usually served. Oh really? Oh <laughs> well, well, well that's wonderful. Um, I couldn't wake the old guy up so uh, I've had to kind of muddle through myself. Uh yeah, well, right, you are. It's it's all ready. Um, there's there's a few more servings for some of the other officers there as well. I don't know if you take those or if I do. I I'll take some of them. And she she puts a hand out, and between two two of the 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 uh, the cupboards, there's a thin gap, and she actually pulls out a tray which is stored there. Okay. Um, and she puts that down, and uh, she knows where the bowls are kept in this room in the cutlery and she lays down uh, about four bowls and waits for you to uh to dish dish them out yeah okay yeah so i um i give the uh, i give obviously the if there's one bowl bigger than the others i give a nice healthy uh turtling to that that sounds wrong uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> make sure the captain gets like the bigger share, obviously, and then fill the other bowls um, and say, right, right. Well, uh, I mean, I I follow your lead. Uh, do do I bring the food up for the rest of the crew now as well? Or yeah, you'll have to bring up the food and, and the the bowls and stuff. She points to the the bowl that you've poured the most in and asks, "Is this one for the captain?" Yeah, yeah, if uh, yeah, the most I assume goes to the captain. Um, okay. Would you, would you, one you of these be up. for Mister Plug as well? Would one of these be for him? Uh, no, no. Ah, okay. Fair, fair. He, you, see, uh, you see her pick up a spoon and actually put it into the captain's um, bowl and then lift it up and he smells it and then you see her actually. Test it. Take the spoonful into yeah. her mouth, yeah. And she gives you a, a look as she's doing that. And, and you see her kind of sample it in her mouth and just seems to stand there for a, a few seconds. And then she nods. So, okay. Yeah, don't don't worry. Put I've the got, spoon I've back on the tray. got no intention of causing any harm. Oh, I, I, I have to check. Of course. Everything he eats. Well, it's been lovely meeting you. If you if you need anything, you come to me or my brother. He's the one that looks like me, except without the tash. Okay, but she just she says okay, but she just kind of lowers her eyes and grabs the tray, and then without any saying anything, she just leaves the room. Right. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I'll. Uh, I'll start gathering up all the all the stuff like the rest of it and uh, the the other stuff that I've made like the more basic stuff that I've made for the rest of the crew and mm -hmm. I'll start taking it up and basically reenacting what I saw Fishguts doing last night 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you would have saw, seen the routine before, so yeah. uh, nothing too complicated. And around this time, you would uh, hear the the bell to signal the end of the uh, the end of the work day, and all the pirates um, put it in the rigging, come down, rest, stop their work. Uh, Lani Torin, I guess you're gonna uh, what are you gonna do with the barrel of of goodies that you've collected? Um, they... I don't know. Would we leave it down there? Would we bring it up? Actually, let's say it's in a barrel with a lid on the top. Lanny picks it up and carries it up onto deck on his shoulder, just to show show okay. the uh, what they've done that right. day. If Master Scorch sees you then uh, arriving on deck, hello, May. How'd you get on? Uh, Lanny bonks the uh, barrel down onto the deck and goes. We've caught quite a few, and opens just peeks open the top of the barrel. He looks in as like, oh, not bad, not a bad day's work, eh, Mister Plug? What do you think? And Mister Plug comes over and looks in, and he looks down, looks up, and but just kind of sneers, and walks off again. Um, walks over to you, uh, Devi. Mm -hmm. And does the same sort of thing. He kind of inspects what you've done. He dips his finger in, tastes it. But um seems he has nothing to say. And other than a sneer, mm -hmm. he, uh, there is no other communication from him to you. I'm not going to antagonize him further today. I'll wait. I like the addition of today and the... <laughs> <laughs> I play the long game. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, I guess you'll all start eating. Yep. I'm assuming um, I'm down for the ringing by this point. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you all come down. Are you all together? If, can you actually put, just put yourselves on deck, please? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Did you have anything else? Can I, can I get missed this? I don't even know where you are, Des. <laughs> Des is in the bottom I'm of the, the shot. Of I'm shit. in the bowels. He's in the, the bowels. I've been down there the whole time. I've been, I've, been, I've been pretending to be up in the rigging. He's been sleeping all <laughs> fucking day. So yeah, just put yourselves where you think you want to be. Yeah. I just, I don't know whether you'd want us all group together and have a chat. Or... Yeah, I think that's... Uh... The, uh, the daily, uh, the daily briefing. <laughs> yeah, grab a, grab a place by the by the side of the side of the ship and chat while we eat. Okay, if you're all together, then Sandara would approach at some point and hello, hello there. All right, all right, Sandara. Uh, just to let, just so that everyone knows, I'm going to say this right now before I forget, but. Uh, our uh, our mutual friend, uh, Mr. Plug, almost had a pop at me this morning. I mean, I did egg him on. I I dared him to do something. Um, but he's uh, yeah, he, he kind of tucked his tail between his legs and buggered off. But I have got a nasty feeling he's going to harbour that for a bit. So uh, everybody, well, just to uh, keep an eye out, yeah. Yeah, well. I've been considering spitting on all fucking day, but I've managed to hold off. <laughs> now, I did find out that we are currently heading south. Um, my rigging mate, Alkai, doesn't seem to know where we're going, which suggests that not all the crew is in on it when it comes to decisions being made. Uh, you can also kind of see land, actually, from up here, from up there. Oh, yeah. Uh, appar apparently, we're. Uh, we're going alongside the shekels at the moment. Right, but, uh, right. I don't know if anyone wants has anything to do with that information, but uh, we are currently heading south. Uh, there aren't any, uh, there aren't any rowboats or anything attached to the side of this Epa chunk, are there? There is, um, I think there is one, one boat. Okay. Well, the worst comes to the worst and we need a bail. There's a slight possibility we might be able to do something, but... I'd agree, except that if we do steal it, then we're going to be out in open water and they'll probably just fire on us. 
there. Yeah, there is one one small rowboat. Okay. Yeah, best not take our chances with that one, eh? Nah, but you know, if we need to make a, a midnight escape at some point, like softly lower it down and then bugger off. Softly, softly, brother. Indeed. Of course, that's an idea. Mean, that will mean that we don't get to kill Mr. Plug, and I'm not particularly on board with that, uh, that idea. I was thinking of taking him with us, have a bit of fun on the voyage. Oh, I like the way you <laughs> think, bro. <laughs> Mr. I mean, Plug is, uh, is one that we're all particularly upset with, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he's a skinny lad, but I'm sure he could sustain us for about three days. I mean, I wouldn't go that far, but... Uh, yeah, no, maybe it probably tastes like shit. Yeah. I don't think we're quite at the uh, long pork uh, portion of our journey yet, bruv. <laughs> I'm going to look at Sandara. How is she reacting to this? <laughs> she's like, yeah, I was just going to say, Sandara's like looking back and forth. She's she's not quite sure if this is joke or I, not. Um, I look around at everyone and then yeah, I just start laughing. a horrified look on her face. Yeah. I look at everyone and, and, and like, I clock the uh, shocked stairs and I just start laughing. Oh. I'm like, it's, it, it's just my humour, love. Don't worry. <laughs> I give a little laugh as well. Yeah, she nervously laughs a little bit. But... Um, Torin said uh, that you also had things uh, that you wanted to, to get back. I... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, well, my uh, my trusty rapier. Um, I mean, I could get another one somewhere, I'm sure. But my dagger, I really want that back. That's uh, that's a bit special. That it's uh, a special dagger. Well, it's not so much anything special about the dagger. It's just it's a trophy piece, really. Like I, I got it off someone, and uh, the um, the scabbard is uh, it's made from white dragon skin, so it's a bit fucking oh. special. He's very fond of it. Re recognizable. Oh yeah, yeah. You'll know it if you see it. It's uh, it's bloody lovely. Um, and uh, if you see uh, any knuckle dusters, um, I reckon they've taken our knuckle dusters off us, bruv. I ain't seen them since we got here. Yeah, I was going to mention that, but uh, I would say that the knuckle dust is unlikely going to be in, in the uh, with the quartermaster. Your dagger, though, bruv, considering how fucking nice it looks, wouldn't surprise me if one of these cunts are taking it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. And that, well, we all know where my bloody coat is, don't we? Yes, we do. I don't know whether you're going to be able to get any weapons out of there anytime soon, lads. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna trust us with that, even if we do pull the superstition card on the quartermaster. I start. Uh, I start chuckling to myself. Oh uh, no! Uh, I just um, really subtly. I kind of like look around the deck, and um, I sidle up next to you, Torin, and take your hand, and I put it in the small of my back. Where you can feel a sharp dagger. <laughs> Very confused at where you're pulling her hand. <laughs> uh, she soon quickly realizes what you're showing us. There. Ah, you clever man! And as I as I turn um, to look over the over the side of the ship, my face kind of like passes her, and I just whisper, "And one in each boot." <laughs> well done. Well done indeed. <laughs> oh, another thing. Uh, Alkite said that that um, woman that I punched this morning, down down when we had the little altercation, apparently she's a bit of a psychopath. And uh, so I may need to sleep with an eye open. So if I do happen to fall asleep and uh, one of you guys happens to see uh, a shadowy figure about to punch a dagger into my chest, I wouldn't mind if you woke me up. Might be uh, uh, might be worth doing what we did in the old days, bruv, and do it in shifts, eh? Might be an idea. Keep an eye on each other. Yes. Well, uh, that's, that's good to know. Now, of course, uh, Sandara. 
Sorry, you no, carry Carol. on. No, you carry on. <laughs> uh, Sandara, uh, how, how's your day been? Uh, have you had any any issues at all today? Oh, well, work was tough, as I said. A lot of carrying things around that were really too heavy for me, but I, I think I did everything they asked me to do, but just, just that Master Scourge has been bothering me a number of times. What's he been up to? What's he said and done? Oh, just... Just seeing what he can get away with, I think. Has he uh, bit, laid um, a finger on you? No, exactly. I, he did insinuate that he would maybe like to do so, but... Hmm. Uh, yeah, so he's one of them handsy types, eh? Well, as I said, he didn't actually touch me, but... I just, oh, he, the thought of it just ugh, gives me the creeps. Disgusting, man. Absolutely. Maybe we have to just break those fingers. I was going to say cut them off, but breaking them works too. Oh. Listen, you tell us if anything happens and we'll deal with it. We've all got each other's back, remember? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you, if you can, just try and make sure you're near one of us at all times, at least in eye eye line of sight. Hello. Uh, see if you can see if you can get a job with us tomorrow. Uh, me and Lanny managed to stick together downstairs, but see if you can uh, see if you can get a job with us so we can we can all keep an eye. But well, I, I, if you can't, can we've got a. Uh, We've got uh, Dez up in the mast, haven't we? So right. it, it appears that my uh, erstwhile companion, the little gnome guy, isn't uh, taking his turn up in the uh, the crow's nest. So it's possible you might be able to talk your way up there. That'd be Andy. Where is that little bugger anyway? Can I see the Can I see the gnome? Is he Is he about? Uh, yeah, he's currently talking to Tally. Gonna Tally, okay. Can uh, um, seem to have hit it off. I say, Lanny wants to do actually head over and uh, speak to the gnome when he sees him. See kind of a pause in their conversation. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, so he heads over and it's just. Almost looms behind him and waits for him to finish conversation. Speaks to him and says, "says Are you okay today?" Uh, oh, hello there. Uh, 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 yes, uh, today was uh, okay. So, yeah. Conquerbar, wasn't it your name? Yes, yes, Conquerbar Conk Shortstone. And you, they're not pushing you too hard. No, not really. I, I am. Um, I was mainly swinging about in the ring today, and uh, this job actually fits me quite well. I, 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 I actually grew up on an in an apple orchard, so I, I'm I'm used to climbing trees since I was a young lad, and uh, I must say I feel quite at home up there. And any trouble from anybody? Uh, not so far as I said. I, I'm mostly up there, out of the way, and. Uh, yeah. I've not had any anybody bothering me just yet. Okay, that's good. Just remember when we spoke before about our little agreement. I'd help you out if need be. Yes, yes, exactly. And uh, he just is for you to come a little bit closer. He's like, I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm be able to play dice with this fellow again later today. Um, I played with him yesterday and won some money. He he seems terribly bad at bad at it. <laughs> uh, Oh, clever. Clever, clever. Yes. Hopefully I should uh, be able to generate a steady income. Uh... Um, um, with that, I'd, I'd just give him a nod and walk away. As you're walking away, you see uh, Fedor, the guy you punched in the face today. <laughs> yeah. I was going to um, ask about him. His eye is like half closed and... <laughs> 
very reddened. He's obviously going to have a very decent black eye in the morning. Um, As I'm walking nice. away from Conquer, I kind of catch his eyesight and just stop and just stare at him. He actually gestures for you to come to him. He's like, hey, come, come here. Uh, I walk over. Um, he kind of gestures for you to like join him on the side of the boat, like a little, a little bit apart from, from the rest of the people. Um, and he looks back to the rest of you, who are uh, down on the, uh, on the starboard side of the, the deck, and he's like, he says, uh, "Hey, I, I think you make very bad friends here, you. I, uh, I think you're okay, you." You, you solid guy, but the, these other other guys, they are dangerous, you know. Uh, I take it as I see it. I look out for the people that look out for me. What, have, what have you got to offer? Well, I don't get you in trouble like these guys. I mean, we have little altercation this morning. It's okay. It did happen sometime, you know. Sometimes we have fights. Captain tolerate fist fight, but he don't like when we kill each other. He 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 don't want to lose crew. You kill someone on this ship, you get kill hauling. I I see what you mean. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Still getting to grips with how this ship works and who everybody is. And, uh... Yes, I, I've been on this ship uh, one and a half years. I can help you. I think you should you should leave these guys. They aren't bad for you. Come to me and Jay. We, sh we show you how this works here. We'll see. Give, give me a day or two. Let me work out my bearing on this ship. And uh, we'll see. Okay, but uh, don't say I did not warn you. Yeah, she seems fairly away. reasonable. Just walk away. <laughs> he, he's got okay. a point. <laughs> We're not nice. Okay. <laughs> I, I nah. Let him back to the rest of the group, and he says, uh, "Um, I think they, uh, Fedor, I think his name was, actually trying to make friends with me. I think I may have hurt his face." <laughs> Good. Uh, maybe, maybe we've got, got a mean uh, swing on you there, Lanny. You hit him uh, well. Maybe we've got a little way I can go there to uh, give us another route, maybe. Get us in a little bit with some of the crew. I reckon it's a good idea. I think you should uh, make friends where you can. He said I should stay away from you lot. That's it. Yeah. I'm going to be completely honest, my friend. That sounds like good advice. Uh, I'm not a very nice man. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? And with that, Lanny, you see Lanny reach up and he actually unpops one of the beads around his neck and it like comes in. You can see it's like a container almost. And he uh, passes it straight to you uh, and says, no matter what happens, we'll look out for each other anyway. And offers you a sip and says, This this is good, this is good hearty drink. You might enjoy it. Oh lovely. Yeah. I'll uh, take a sip. And what Lenny has given you is a coconut moonshine. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Does that do anything apart from getting Pretty me absolutely cool. rattled? No, no. It's just pretty strong. Um, it's not like instant rat ass, but it's just quite a strong moonshine. To oh, I've got to say, Danny, that's uh, that's bloody lovely. And I only um, offers it to the rest as in turn. I would take it and uh, have a sniff and kind of swill it around my mouth as a as a as a connoisseur of uh, rock gut alcohol being self brewed. But... That is not bad. Not bad at all. Do you know how it's made? Lanny, did you make it yourself or did you get it off your island? Uh, we do make this ourselves on the island. Uh, we make it 
we chore it for quite a while. Um, we make others as well, but this is the only one I've got with me. Oh well, I will uh, have to talk to you about how to make that, because I wouldn't mind adding that to my repertoire. Now, what you got told that apparently if you kill someone on this on this ship, you get kill hold. Was that right? Yeah, that's what that's what uh, Fedor said. So what I'm hearing is, if we beat them to the, to within an inch of their lives, we should be alright. <laughs> yeah. He said fists, this fight's okay, but uh, killing, and, sorry, knives, a bit against the rules to a certain extent, oh, although I don't think there's any rules. I do wonder what would happen if one were to beat someone to death with one's fists. <laughs> I'm, quite, I'm, quite, I'm quite willing to find out. I had to beat them to death with their own shoes. <sighs> Reference, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, by the way, I just realised the music or the the sound. Yeah, the sound had been off for ages. If that happens, just say something because um, I'm <laughs> I'm still having issues with the looping. So no worries. Uh, uh, is Nathan back? I don't think he is. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Um, just gonna look around the deck now. Um, where is Mr. Plug? Can I see him? Uh, no, you currently can't see him. Okay. I'd like to be able to, um, okay. He's ne back. next time I do see him, I want to kind of figure out whereabouts his quarters are on the ship if I can well you know there uh, there's the captain's quarters yeah I'm not exactly sure who sleeps in there but um, I'm, I I did explain last week when you leave the main deck yeah you go down uh, to the uh, through the main hold you do pass through this area yeah and this is like a separate smaller sleeping quarters mm-hmm um, and as you can see, there are a number of beds and hammocks there, uh, sleeping mats at least. So um, you can assume if he's not in the captain's quarters and he's not with croup and he's not with uh, the rest of you in the main sleeping area, Which he's probably, probably sleeping in there. Okay. Right. Uh, <sighs> this is going to sound weird. But oh wow! I'm really excited to see what comes out of your mouth now. <laughs> when uh, he and I had our little standoff earlier on, um, what did he smell like? I, w I what did he smell like? Well, yeah, I want to get an, uh, an idea of what he smells like. Is he a quite a well groomed for a pirate? Is does he wear any kind of uh, scent? Um. Oh, I think you'd have to get close to him and have a have yeah, a, okay. Have a look next time. But your overall impression of him is yeah. As far as pirates go, he's relatively well groomed. I mean, he's uh, he's not he's relatively young, so it would seem that he his head is shaven, yeah. except for the tail at the back. Um, okay. His uh, he's wearing your jacket, but underneath that um, he wears nothing. So he's bare chested. His chest is also shaven. Um, okay. And with the gold rings in his beard and everything, yeah, he, as pirates go, he's he's fairly well groomed. Well groomed. Yeah. Okay. Right. 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 Cool. 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 Um. So, so at this point, I'm gonna start my investigation. Then, um, after everyone is um fed, and I guess I know what time I have to pack everything down and take things back down to the galley. Um. I'm going to, when I go through there, on my way down to the galley, if there's no one else mm -hmm. hanging around, I'm going to have a quick um, a quick run around that area, and weird as it is, I am going to smell the pillows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're an odd one, Dan. <laughs> you're, you're definitely an odd one, mate. I, well, it's not me. <laughs> sure. My character. Sure, it's not bleeding through, is it? <laughs> so, I will come into your house and I will smell your pillows. 
So should I do an investigation? So, uh, yeah, go on. This will probably be shite. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> well, at least it's happening now, not in combat. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. It could lead to combat. <laughs> it could lead to combat. <laughs> what are you sniffing my ass for? Oh, I thought it was a pillow. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you, <laughs> hammocks are hard to get any smell from a hammock. Uh, from the the bedding and the pillows, they just to you right now they just all smell fairly similar. Yeah. Okay. And you can't. Uh, you, I mean, even if even the slight differences amongst them, you can't really say if one smells better than the other, mm. if anything, slightly different. <laughs> but that's about all you can... Uh, oh, or you can... Also, out of curiosity, these... This here, is the, are these doors? Yeah, that's the doors in. Okay. But there are, next to those, others doors. Right. Uh, so do there's, I know... There's doors to the... I mean, let me... I mean, if, if I can... If I reveal, is this? This basically just leads out to the deck. It's the same. Image oh, as above. right, 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 right. Okay, so that is just that. That's under the the um yeah. the bow of the ship. Okay, but from right, the right. the inside now, there is left and right. There does seem to be uh, other doors, which. Well, I mean, you can work out these obviously lead to small uh, cupboards, cupboards uh, okay. that are underneath the stairs that lead up to the decks right okay i've got a much better bearing then okay cool thank you okay yeah um, sorry i didn't reveal that before but no 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 not no that's fine um yeah okay so i yeah i'll just carry on putting all the stuff away then um has croup okay. woken up yet <laughs> uh when you go down you he's not where you left him right is he there at all? You can't see him in the room. Right, I'll put all the stuff away, then I'll, and then I'll knock on the uh, quarters door. Um, you hear hello. Uh, it's uh, it's Devi. Can I? Uh, Sorry, can I... which door? Which door did you did that. you knock on the door to the quarters where the beds are? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, it's Devi. Can I uh, can I have a word? The door opens and you see it's actually the quartermaster stood there, and she, it, it, whether she's managed alone or he managed it by himself, Croup is now lying in uh, in this red bed. Okay. Um, he seems to have roused a little bit, but he's yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Um, begging your pardon. Uh. We haven't met officially. My name is Devi McRae. I'm uh, Mr. Croup's assistant. Oh, hello. And she actually puts out a fist. Okay. But like a fist bump. Yeah, I bump fists. I say, um. She's, uh, I'm Grok. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, Grok. I've uh, I've heard about you, but we hadn't had the pleasure yet. Uh, I was just uh, I was just checking on him. He hasn't uh, choked on his own vomit then. Nah, he's not. <clears throat> he's all right. He looks like he had another all nighter. Yeah, he's. Uh, yeah, I kind of had to uh, handle everything myself today. I think I managed to do it through by the skin of my teeth, though. Yeah, I thought the food was all right today. <coughs> oh well. Uh, Thank you very much. Is there, uh, is there anything you need at all? No, I right. I'm put him to bed and I'll probably uh, have a drink and go to bed myself. <clears throat> yeah, right you are, right you are. Um, listen, um, I I know it's late and you and you want to be getting to bed. I don't want to keep you, but uh, yeah. You haven't come across uh, any possessions of mine that might have been handed over to your care. Uh, specifically, I'm looking for a a dagger that's got a uh, white dragon hide uh, scabbard um, and my rapier. Uh, she, she very bluntly just says, uh, "Yeah, yeah, all your stuff was handed over to me when you were brought onto the ship." Uh, any way of getting that back? You can buy it back. 
This captain's probably now. Oh. She's like, yeah, sorry, love, this is the way it works. Uh, <coughs> right, yeah, yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, um, oh, two seconds. Uh, uh, what's the name? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? Um, 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 oh, yeah. Oh dear, oh dear, Bess Murray's not going to be pleased that I got them taken off me. Oh, well, I suppose I'll have to get them back somehow. What was that, Ian? Oh, well, I'm sort of, uh, I, don't, I don't really like using the term. It's not really one that, uh, you know, it, it doesn't seem to fit me well, but I've, uh, I've kind of been chosen kind of a champion so champion. Was, yeah from birth you know me and my, me and my brother we were kind of I, I don't really know the ins and outs of it uh, me old mum bless her heart she died before she could impart all of her wisdom but uh, apparently me and my brother were we were born under the right conditions and uh Apparently we were uh, were chosen. Her eyes narrow as she's listening to what you're saying. Can you give me a deception check, please? I can certainly try. <laughs> please, please don't be a one or something, bollocks. Oh, oh it wasn't a one. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, do I have a thing? Features and traits, features and traits. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Eye for detail. Ah, oh, I don't think I do. Oh no, I can just tell when other people are being deceitful. Um, yeah, no. I don't have anything special I can add to that. I don't think. She says, uh, "Well, well, that sounds very interesting." Uh, so, why don't you uh, champion yourself some money and then come back and see me, eh? Right you are, right you are, it is the way of the pirate after all. You have a good night now. See you later. Cheers, love. And <laughs> even as you're leaving the room, you see that she opens a bottle and starts uh, drinking from it. Right. And then she kind of just kind of slams the door behind <laughs> she, she leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just get back up to deck. Find my friends. Okay, as, as you arrive on deck, now all the people have finished eating but they're all still kind of hanging around deck there no one has started with any sort of evening activities just yet okay um seems like they're all waiting for something and what that is becomes quickly apparent as um mr plug exits the captain's quarters um followed by the captain who walks out onto the deck uh, comes to stand here near the main mast and everyone just kind of huddles a little bit together and you assume that's similar to the night before after the meal there's this moment where he comes out and wants to know if there's any disciplinary action to be taken uh, today uh, before any of the uh, entertainment starts and he stands there and he surveys his crew and he stops briefly at Fedor, seeing the the black eye slowly appearing on his face. <laughs> After a few moments he turns to Mr. Plug. Anything to report for today. Mr. Plug, uh, you see a small grin slowly appear on his face. <laughs> Actually, there is something to report today, Captain. Um, something fairly serious. Um, I could, of course, have taken care of this myself, but I thought uh, something of this magnitude you would want to hear about and take care of yourself. I was unfortunately threatened by one of the crew this morning uh, with a knife no less uh, I think his exact words were and he 
reaches into the jacket and pulls out the little notepad. I'm going to stop you there, son. And I step forward. And I say, yes, I said exactly. I will cut your fucking bollocks off. I'm going to stop you there. <laughs> as soon as you say that, you hear the captain just go. Ooh. And he is going to attack you. Sorry, that was a misroll. <laughs> that was a misroll. Did, did, did you drop it's the dice? Going to... Yeah, I pressed it by mistake. <laughs> I, don't have mac I don't have the macro up. So he's going to attack you recklessly, and he swings for your head, so... Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the fuck? I'm dead. Oh my. Now, <laughs> Um, it is an unarmed strike, so it's flat damage for the actual strike, um, but he is raging, so the flat damage alone is 10 points of bludgeoning damage. 10 points of bludgeoning Ooh. damage? Yes. And Rit. he also... Oh. Wait a minute. He, Fucking hell. Yes. <laughs> and he Ew. also... This is also a menacing attack, which is an attack manoeuvre. Okay. So I get to use a super, 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 super superiority hell, dice. I can't even say it. Exactly, which is a d8. So you take an additional eight plus what I roll. Well, I'm going to die then. <laughs> so that's twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yep. Total. Are you still conscious? Nope. I'm in oh, death shit. saves. So. The rest of you, as uh, as he stepped forward, um, and oh, said his piece. A... As soon as he said the words, "Cut your bloody bollocks off," you uh, saw the captain just rage, <laughs> step forward, and just clobber him in the face, and oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every instantly just. Uh, like his knees just go, he falls back like a tree, and his head Sorry, bounces my, off of the deck. My mouse wheel isn't working. I'm trying to see. I'm afraid <laughs> I will not be standing for this. Uh oh. Nobody, uh, nobody strikes my brother. Especially not. I'm gonna my stop presence. you there. See, I, I would, because, I would shout uh, to you not to, but I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> as, as soon as you speak to him, um. The captain immediately draws his sword, which is now pointing into your face. Wasn't necessarily. You do not ever talk to me. I you have I gotten wasn't... the first and most important rule on this ship. Do not ever talk to me. If I want to hear something from your mouth, I will ask you a question. You better not forget this, or I will have your head. What a dick. <laughs> as soon as, uh... Can I, in the meantime, sorry, in the meantime, can I have <laughs> yeah, a death yeah. saving roll, please? Uh, yeah. What, uh, um, ooh, it's just a straight 20, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Go with 10. One success. Oh. So, assuming you don't say anything, he starts talks to the entire crew. As soon as his, his attention is diverted, I'm going in for a punch. No! Oh, oh, I... Oh, I can fucking stop! <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you had made a motion, Tori would have immediately grabbed you by the belt and just said, don't. Please don't. <laughs> you put my brother down. I know. <laughs> that's that's all I will be. I would be able to get out as this fucking behemoth of a man has got a sword pointed at you. So I'm. If this is the, I know. Please. That's it. That's that would be my piece. And then your character would do what your character would do. <sighs> I've got a hand. I've got a hand on your, on your uh, the small of your back, like. Not holding you, but it's a uh, please don't, please don't. As all this is, <laughs> as all this is happening, <clears throat> you see various numbers of the crew 
reach their hands for their weapons. Back on the poop deck, you hear a click, and uh, one of the officers is holding a very heavy crossbow, which is now pointed towards you. And the the woman with the uh, the staff has also stepped forward, and is uh, hasn't just locked eyes with the situation, waiting to see if anything happens. Take a deep breath. Put my hands up so they can see me. the hands are open and just say, I just want to get my brother and get him up. All right? I'm not going to attack anyone. I say through gritted teeth. I one. presume Sandara is still with us? That's That's pretty much what I'm thinking, yeah. yeah. The best part of this is I wasn't even talking to the captain, I was talking to Plug. <laughs> <laughs> captain doesn't move. There's a very slight uh, nod from him. I'll approach my brother slowly and grab his uh, prone body and drag him back and look for Sandara, wherever she may be. I think, is she still with us? Mm -hmm. Did she follow us over? Or? Yeah, as soon as as soon as you grab him and pull him back, and she feels the situation is safe, she will run forward and um, <laughs> she will heal you. So um, that's two d eight plus four, I think. Does that sound right? I don't have a sheet. Uh, depends what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kill like wounds. Uh, 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 kill wounds. Uh, first level is. 1v8 plus her, um, her wisdom, wisdom modifier, modifier as a cleric. Hey, fuck it. I'll just do this. So, you regain nine points. Thank you. And so yeah, I'm seeing you regain conscious consciousness and look up. The captain says, You threaten my crew. You threaten me. You disrespect my crew. You disrespect me. Let it not happen again. And with that, he just turns and leaves and heads back to his corners. Oh, yeah. Is, is Plug looking at me? Yeah, he stands there. He grins. I do but the after, like... biggest Cheshire cat grin back at him. Um... Can I use intimidate? <laughs> oh, I, I don't I, really I, think you can, can intimidate in this situation. <laughs> you're, you're on the floor, barely conscious. Um, with a bloody you're fucking right. nose. Well, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> you might be you, missing teeth. More right. teeth. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just... Uh, he... I'm, I want to make it known to him that he has not bothered me in any way. As the captain turns around and walks away, I will stand up after making sure my brother is awake again and look around and look for Plug. And I will lock eyes with him and I will not smile. And I will just drag my thumb across my neck. <laughs> he sees this. But uh, at least as far as he's concerned, he, uh, he still has the upper hand in this situation. So he just winks back at you, and then turns and leaves also. Uh, that oh. <laughs> and heads back. Uh, he actually follows the captain back into his quarters for the moment. Um, after they leave, the atmosphere immediately re uh, relaxes again, and the pirates just kind of start doing their thing, almost as if like nothing really happened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just like, okay, now we can do what we want. Now we're going to do what we want. And what we just saw wasn't particularly that <laughs> unusual. So I'm going to, uh, yeah. I'm going to crouch over Devi and I'm going to try and wipe some of the blood off his face <laughs> and just say quietly, okay, that wasn't one of your smartest ideas. <laughs> I disagree. We know several things from that encounter now. I mean, yes, but... Maybe... 
<laughs> maybe lay a little low for a little while. Yeah, maybe, maybe don't uh, don't piss off the gorilla captain. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's a good one. <laughs> I'll yeah. extend a hand and try and help him up. <laughs> I get yeah, it. I, I don't <laughs> think even I could take that guy. Yes, but oh, uh, I've got a funny feeling I can take plug though. Little man can't fight his own battles, it would seem. He cannot indeed. Yeah, but if we touch plug, then we got to deal with the big guy. Only if they can prove it. Yeah. I don't think they care if they can prove it. Very true, very true. Well, the thing is, I'm not finding this quite so funny anymore. I think something needs to be done. I don't know. I think this is the. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the funniest joke in the world. I think you're both fucking crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> well, yes, that is a very astute observation. Now, I don't know if it was clear, but I'm quite fond of my brother. You know, he's a bit of a. You know. Obviously, a little bit lacking in the looks department as he is, but <laughs> he's my brother, and that fucking gorilla laid his hands on him. That will not stand. So we've got plenty of time, bruv. Yes, we have. Got to be smart about how we do this. We can't take it, the captain on. He is scary. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> oh, I've dealt with scary before. Yeah, I think this one might be different. Maybe. Uh, I am just starting to wonder whether it might just be a better idea just to sink the whole fucking ship. Oh, yeah, I don't know. There's some fairly decent people here. They just need to be uh, relieved of their current leadership. Mm hmm. I think if we ever get the land, we run the fuck away. Or, we bite the bullet and rise up in the ranks and see what we can do from the inside. Kind of what I was thinking. But we can't fight them head on. Like you say, gotta play it smart. Mm, well, speaking of playing it smart, bruv, how did you get on with the uh, Quartermaster? Oh well, uh, yeah, not so great. Uh, it seems that my uh, my wiles failed me this time, but I planted a seed. I told her that uh, you and I were the chosen of uh, Besmara. Okay. Yeah, I told her that... Besmara actually, like... <laughs> you hear her? She gorfs at that slightly and then covers her mouth. But... Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to work the old uh, superstition angle. I told her that uh, we don't know much about when we were born, but apparently it was under the sign of Bismara, and uh, we have our favour in some sort of way. And to take our stuff is probably not very wise. Torin's just gonna put her head in her hands and go, "We're fucked." Well, actually, brother, you might have given me a bit of an idea, eh? Oh, God. <laughs> this oh, is, this is how we work. <laughs> Sandara, dear. Yes? Now, what are the chances that you, or you, Torin, actually, can uh, make little kind of lights or stuff appear? Um... Lights? I mean... Just create light. Yeah, just like you know, a, a little, a little, uh, a little bit of, a little bit of, um, oh, I don't know, uh, effects, if you will, a bit of razzmatazz. Uh, uh no. Not really, what I, I do normally, I, I'm not quite sure I understand what you mean. Well, what I'm saying is, is that if you were. If, if I were to speak to the Quartermaster, and you, or Tori, were able to make it look like I was doing something, uh, you know, shiny, sparkly, 
then it might wait, uh, lend a bit of weight to the argument that me and my brother are the chosen ones, as it were. Oh, I see, like a, like a pantomime trick. You like, yeah. Like an, an illusion. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, no, that's not really no. the sort of thing I'm capable of. Oh, well. Torin? Um... I could, uh... Well, maybe if I... No, what about... And you can see, you can see the cogs are whirring in Torin's <laughs> mind at this point. She's trying to go through everything she knows in every possible permutation. Ah, oh, is there a... Oh, I've got a little bit of an idea. I like your thinking, bruv. I like your thinking. Is there a way that uh, a kind of illusion can be cast upon one's skin? Say, a, uh, a tattoo of a skull and crossbones that moves like a flag blowing in the wind. Um... Oh, let me read a spell and see yeah. what it does. <laughs> I was thinking, is is that covered by like thaumaturgy or? Yeah, what what I what think what? That's what... Minor illusion. Yeah, yeah that, minor illusion. Minor or even major. Um, yeah. Yeah, Des was thinking. Uh, obviously, he doesn't know the word for it, but thaumaturgy was what he was hoping for. Yeah, I haven't got it. I knew what I knew that was what you were going for, but I haven't got it. <laughs> um. Da, 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 what's the fucking words in here? <laughs> uh... Ooh, actually, <laughs> <laughs> this would entirely be down to Sean. Mm -hmm. what do you um, think? I've got the spell of disguise self. Yes. You make yourself, including your clothing, armor, weapons, and other belongings, look different. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, you can't change your body type, um, so you have to have the same basic arrangement of limbs, so you have to still remain humanoid. Otherwise, yes. the extent of the illusion is up to you. Yes. Would I be able to make a disguise myself as basically myself, but have a... With an overlay. Yeah, almost almost an overlay of a, of like shifting eyes or a tattoo that moves or something of that effect? Or would uh... you class that closer to minor or major illusion? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of almost hijacking a different spell. Yeah, that's, that's what I... Yeah, while while trying yeah. to sort of <laughs> say it, I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. no, I don't even believe this yeah, myself. No. <laughs> um, no, that's, that's I think that's that's pushing the abilities. I think mean, disguise self is to make you look like someone else, and yeah. unless you know someone who has moving eye <laughs> tattoos and stuff, you know what I mean? There's, uh, yeah. I mean, I would I tattoos. I okay, but. Um, Anything beyond that is is pushing it. Yeah, any anything anything sort of. Yeah, it it would be minor or major illusion, or maybe even alter self. No, alter self is. Um, I could like grow horns or something, yeah. but. Um, yeah, it'd probably be minor or major illusion. That's okay. We we'll just have to earn some money and buy our own fucking stuff back. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't know. Well, you you, you had your crack. <laughs> am I going? Am I going to do the same skill? <laughs> so as you say that, Mister Plug exits the captain's quarters, uh -huh. and he kind of comes back to the main deck, and not all too far away from you, and says, uh, "So the captain is uh, rather angry with uh, what has been happening." So I. Uh, would be on your toes if I were you. Uh, but I'd sense a certain amount of tension in the air, correct? 
Which one of us is he talking to, or is he talking to us just as kind a group? Of the, yeah, just kind of the group in general. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Plug, but it appears talking to you is bad for our elf. Uh, Fair enough. I'm just going to start laughing. I will not complain. But uh, maybe you, you could listen to my suggestion. In times like these, I, I often suggest a little bit of uh, uh, sport to help the people unwind. Uh, uh, a little bit of boxing, perhaps, huh? Oh, what, to, what, you and me right now, yeah? Oh, no, not me. When I oh. fight, I fight with the sword and I fight to kill. I'm talking a little bit of uh, uh, entertainment for the crew and the opportunity for somebody to possibly uh, let out a bit of frustrations that are building up within them, huh? Go on, Des. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot a look at Des and go... I think he just gave you permission to pick a fight with someone. I think you might be right. No, 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 no. Uh, this is how we do this here. I I offer a, 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 an amount of gold, and he lifts up a pouch uh, and jingles it in front of you. To any man who is brave enough to fight and defeat my champion. And he turns around and he actually hangs the little bag of money on the bottom of the clock on the main mast and he turns back to you so is any of you uh, man enough to face my champion? so fucking lootly <laughs> lovely I, he's very good he has never lost I, he turns back to the, the gold bag so, there are a hundred gold coins in this bag I, I must offer this amount, otherwise I cannot get anybody to fight him. <laughs> it's not the fucking captain, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I Lanny. am always down for a challenge. Lanny stands up behind uh, Dez and just says, Dez, will let me take this one? Oh, oh, Lanny, Lanny, I've only known you for like, what, a day? And I like you a lot, I really do. However, I am currently in the mood to punch something so hard that it ancestors are starting to feel it. All right, I just saw my brother go down. I need to punch something. All right. Okay, Jess. Well, I, I tell you what. After he is finished with you, I'm sure he will be uh, happy to fight you also. Yeah, it might not come to that, but. If it does, it's interesting. Get off. Uh, Torrin will speak up. Why don't we make it interesting? If he's so is good, one... why not two on one? Oh, that is very unsportsmanlike. He can fight both of you, but one after the other. Okay. Oh, unless oh. he's uh, not man enough for it. <laughs> You cannot goad me into such nonsense. We want to see a fair fight. Right. Are we in agreement? I would say so, I yes. can take this gold back if you do not want it. Oh, come on. Stop dangling the carrot and just bring out the cunt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he turns to Master Scourge and says, uh, Go and get the owl bear." Oh. <laughs> oh shit! At that, <laughs> I'm gonna look at Lanny and Des and go. I have an owl bear. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. And, uh, did, did they say owl bear? Oh, because I, 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 I hope it's with just that, a name. Uh, with that, Master Score just like, oh yeah, boys, owl bear, and uh, a couple of the other parts hear that and it perks their interest. And Master Scourge runs down below deck, and you start to hear like this, this soft chanting like, "Ow bear, ow bear, ow bear," <laughs> and more and more parts join in, and then you start to hear like coming from below deck, this voice as well, "Ow bear, ow bear, ow bear," and Master Scourge leads through the door <laughs> in chains. Uh, a figure from below deck who you have not seen up until this point 
Oh, not an actual if you look on there. the crew page. <laughs> no, it's it. I was gonna he say, he is damn. down. He is on the he is on the uh, uh, the crew image. So this is a again a very large man. He's almost as tall as the captain, but um, not as muscular. He's he's uh, has very little fat on him, um, and he's very well defined. But he just doesn't have the same mass as the captain. But nonetheless, it's a large man. He's wearing nothing but basically like a loincloth with a belt on it and um you can see at first it's you don't realize what it is but as he gets closer and starts to walk across the deck it looks like he must have been tarred and feathered not all too long ago <laughs> oh. because he's he has uh, black remnants of of tar and, and a few odd little bits of feathers still sticking to him and as he gets closer he's like chanting along with the group and smiling he's obviously enjoying this attention oh. he's like oh bruh oh bruh and des i guess as you're uh can you give me an insight set check des i certainly can yeah Insight check. You are fucked. Right. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ooh. So, you start eyeing this man up as your soon-to-be opponent, and uh, as you like to do, and you look, you look him in the eyes, and you try and get a read on him. And as you do so, you, I mean, there's something about the the slack jaw, the kind of blurred eyes. This strange sort of st stomping gait. You get the feeling that this man is just a, like a simpleton, put in nice terms. Yeah. Oh. This is, yeah. Uh, <sighs> like the master blaster. Yeah. He's, yeah. He seems to be a bit of a. Uh, I don't know how you put it. The village idiot. Yeah. Um. But he seems to be enjoying the the attention, and um, Mr. Plug walks up to him, uh, and he kind of <coughs> looks to him and grins, and uh, Mr. Plug points to you, Des, and says, "You will fight this man, Albert." And the uh, Albert turns to Des, and he looks kind of confused and almost reluctant. Um, at which point Mr. Plug grabs his hands, which are still manacled, and grabs him in the wrist, looks him deep in the eyes, pulls him close, and he kind of repeats, You will fight this man, Owl Bear. You will fight him. And there's this brief moment where... Uh, it's hard to describe what I'm thinking. This kind of conf this look of confusion kind of vanishes, and for a moment there's just like zero expression on the owlbear's face, and he just kind of stands up a little straighter and. Uh, at which point, Master Scourge unlocks the manacles, and he steps forward into the That's center. As he steps forward, I am going to stand behind Lanny and <laughs> and uh, make sure that I am hidden behind him uh, and put my hand in my pocket and touch the touch the crystal. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and I'm just I'm just waiting at this point. Okay. So I'm going to square up to this owlbear and look up at him and go, Oh, mate, it doesn't look like you're quite all there, but uh, judging by the look of you, you're probably going to hit like a fucking ox. Can you, um, are you stepping up to him? Um, I'm going to approach him, but I'm not going to be like right up in his face. Okay. Mr. Plug says, uh, are we ready? And the all the pirates who have now collected around 
forming an impromptu circle around this section of the deck. Some of them are up on the on the fore deck, looking down. They're all hyped up and ready for this, and they're like, "Yeah, come on!" And some are still chanting, "I'll bear, I'll bear." Uh, I'd like you to roll initiative, please. Not good start. <laughs> oh dear. Question, Sean. Yes. If I'm planning on doing something, would you like me okay. to roll initiative as if, well, or would I potentially do it at the top of the round? Or let's uh, ha uh, roll initiative. Yeah. Just to keep it uh, clear. Yeah, yeah. Then it's just very, very clear if and when you can do something. Okay. So how do I clear this? Um, if you click on, there should be an option. Uh, the remove all turn. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So, um, add turn, <clears throat> add turn, okay. And my initiative's <laughs> four! <laughs> Lovely. Well, yeah. We're doing so well! What about the other two? Uh, <laughs> any chance you're going to do something? Um, well, it's especially well, would, fair fight. If, yeah, if Jez goes yeah. down, Lanny, Lanny's going straight in, but well, that won't happen <laughs> until Jez goes down. Um, and I'm okay. I'm staying hidden as much as I can behind Lanny, uh, purposefully not drawing attention to myself. Okay. I'm not doing anything. I'm just I'm just there currently. Okay. I'm just watching. So, and with that, the old bear somehow slightly more concentrated than he first appeared. He's gonna step forward. And he's going to swing for you. Oof. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> so that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Oh, yep. But uh, in this case, it's only four points of bludgeoning damage for a flat um, uh, for a flat strike. Uh, he catches you somewhat off guard. Uh, just steps in and uh, straight punches you into the head. So, um, as I said in my custom rules, um, you can offhand attack with your fists, um, but it's at disadvantage. So, his second attack <laughs> is an 11. Yep, that misses. Which I'm pretty sure misses. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's your turn. Oh. You can take the punch in the face and be like, oh, yep, that's pretty much what I can. I'm going to put my fist up there. Right. Here we are now. Sorry, I'll tell you that. Two seconds. Sean, did you just roll advantage, uh, disadvantage twice? Yes, he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah I did, you, actually. You, you, you got, <laughs> yes, you, you did hit me on the second one. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Uh, yep. Yeah, your, so, your uh, roll yeah. as a GM automatically rolled twice, so... Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, the second one did hit you. Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. Wham, wham. Yeah, said no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. It's, no, it's, no, it's it's completely fair. fair. If it if it if it'd been the other way around, then it would have we would have let it count as well. So okay, so I'm gonna attack and miss horribly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a good start, man. but I'm going to use a key point to use flurry of blows. Okay. Uh, 18 and 15. 18 definitely hits. Sorry, I've just closed his. Um, I've just closed his sheet. <laughs> yeah. So, Albert, uh, where are we? Blah, 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 blah. Where is it? Uh, yeah, they both hit. Okay, so that's eight points of bludgeoning, and I'm going to disengage. And. Fifty feet away. <laughs> Which is down here. <laughs> Jesus. Fifty you, feet. You're yep, making cause... him chase you. Yep. <laughs> Holy okay. shit. It is uh flurry blows get I get disengaged plus ten feet to my speed, and my speed is already forty. <laughs> okay. So, um, sorry, I accidentally closed the sheet and now I'm having to open up everything again. So, uh, sorry, how much damage was that again, please? Eight. 
Eight. Okay. Okay. Can you also give me a perception check, please? Okay. Forty. Okay. So as you stepped into attack and you had a good look at him, you noticed that his um, his let his his right eye, so on your left, basically, is completely white. Interesting. So he steps one, two, three, four. F- Oops. And he can't actually reach you. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So you can do nothing but stop there. Um. Actually, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going to have to backtrack there because I did say there is, there is an impromptu circle built up around. Very so it would true. actually mean you having to like push out through the crowd. So I'm going to say you can if you want, but it would mean you like leaving the ring yeah, okay. of battle. I will. Okay. Can you like draw a circle and show where the, where the ring will be? I can try. Polygon. Is a circle an option? Yeah, you hold alt. Do I have to... Do I have to freehand it? Hold alt no. when you're hovering over draw shape? Yeah. Or can you can you do that. that? Oh, you could do that, yeah. 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 I mean, they're not going to be in okay. a perfect circle anyway, so... Yeah, exactly. So yeah, let's just say okay. that's the circle. Okay, that's fine. I've, I've disengaged, but I've not moved as far away as I said that. Okay, that's okay. So, sorry, yeah, I, I, I forgot about that. That would have been a second. So, he, he steps forward again. So, first attack. He's moved forward. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a miss. Is an eight. Uh, and second one. Oh, so sorry, yeah, you would have had a, a opportunity to do something. Yeah. As he's, move, um, as he's moving forward, uh, I would... Um, I would like to, uh, actually, let me just see how far, yeah, he's still, he's still in my range. So as he moves forward, as he steps into range, I'm going to cast blindness on him. Okay. Uh, under, again, under my breath, uh, in under common. Uh, remove his senses and I will cast blindness. I need him to make a constitution saving throw. Which I presume he's going to be good at. Mm. But I thought I'd try it. Uh, What's the save? What do I need to get? The save is 14. Oh! Oh, okay! (laughs) Nice. <laughs> I rolled a one. I'm blind! Uh, <laughs> he is blind. So he kind of steps forward. Just as he's stepping towards you, he, you see him stop and stumble and... Uh, and he holds both his hands up in front of him. Uh, but stops moving, of course. Uh, and that ends his turn, so... Uh, he gets to make a constitution save at the end of each of his turns. Okay, so he gets to make another save now, yeah? Yeah. Just shake it off. Oh man! Uh, oh dear. <laughs> so you just uh, see him like shaking his head and like holding his head. As he as uh, he's doing this, oh, sorry, I'm just Carol. gonna look at the the uh, the blinded thing. Can't see and automatically fails any ability check that requires sight. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Okay, I'm gonna have him just wildly swing out at you then. Disadvantage on attack rolls. Yep. Yeah, so. I'll... Uh, <laughs> 16? That's it. Yep. Okay, so he just swings wildly. He's, his, his one hand is holding his head, and with the other fist, he just. a large arcing swing. <laughs> Manages to catch you. That's Oops. another four points of bludgeoning damage. I've got, I've got a bloody nose. My nose is broken once again. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna like, wipe the blood away from my nose and be like, oh, all right then. Let's see what this does then. Come on, Prof. So, your turn. So, first attack. Oh 
God, fuck off. And now use another key point for flurry of blows. Wow. Oh my God. However, I do get advantage, so that is a crit. You get a crit on the second right. one. The, yeah. the 11 does actually hit. Oh, does it? Oh, brilliant. Holy yeah, shit. He's, okay, he's so done. that... He, he's wearing nothing. <laughs> That's very, very true, yeah, dexterous. yeah. So, uh, the first one was six points of dead bludgeoning damage. And the second one is seven. The second one is... Seven... Seven, yeah, okay. Yeah, and I will disengage mm -hmm. and move around him again. Tori? I'm holding yeah, concentration. So I am. Okay. I, I'm, I'm leaving it. I'm holding concentration. So uh, he takes the attack. Uh, hears you moving. He can still hear, correct? It's just blindness. It's uh, yeah, I either pick blindness or deafness, uh, and I picked blindness. So you see him turn around. He can hear your footsteps, but the the noise of the crowd is too uh, too loud for him to really hear where you are. So he will take a step forward and just swing wildly at the air, <laughs> and then to end his turn, he makes another save. Ah. Save. That one saves. Yeah. This time he shakes his head. And you see him glance left and then uh, he locks eyes with you and you can see that uh, he's definitely Ooh. definitely knows where you are. It's obviously obvious to you. So that's yeah, the end of his I'm... turn. Your turn now, Des. Okay, so I'm going to come in. And... Okay, so I'm going to come in at the side yeah. and attack. My arm strike. Ooh, 24! Yes! So it's 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Use my last key point for my last flurry of blows. 15 and 11. 15 hits. Yep, so 3 plus 9. 3 plus 9? Yeah. Oh, the original. Oh, okay. No, sorry, no, no, uh, I didn't get any crit now. No, no, my, no, no, I'm being no, stupid now. 3 I'm plus one. 4. Yeah, 3 plus 4, 7. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dez. How do you wish this to happen? <laughs> Say the phrase. Say the phrase. No, don't. That is yes. copyright. It's not no, copyrighted. No. Say the damn phrase. But it's lame to do That's... it. Yeah. How That's would you how... phrase? How would you how wish would this you to occur? Prefer for this thing that's gonna uh, happen actually happen. That's my phrase. Okay. Oh no. my right. god. <laughs> so... <laughs> it doesn't. So... It's fine. With with the first punch, the crit punch, you'll punch him in the stomach as hard as you can, getting him to double over. With the second attack, he brings his knee up and smashes him into the face. And as his head comes back up again, he brings his fist down on the back of his head, essentially ramming his head, face back into the, into the knee again. Okay. As you do that, his body kind of freezes in this crooked position. And without really moving, just kind of slowly rocks forward until he's off ban balance and then face first just <laughs> slams into the deck and there's this brief moment of silence amongst the crowd and you hear the intakes of breath as they <gasps> and then yeah! <laughs> yeah! Just cheering as they've all enjoyed a bloody good fight and that's where we're on tonight's yes, session. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I would like to uh, look into the crowd and see if I can see Mr. Plug. Yeah, he gives you a... Uh... Yeah, he's there. Yeah, and how does he look? <laughs> he looks pissed off. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> uh, so what? I will... And he... He glances at the money which is hanging, and you see him, his eyes dart to it a couple of times, and maybe he's thinking about grabbing it, but inevitably he decides that that's probably not a great idea for him to take back the money he promised to the person who can defeat his champion. 
and he leaves I'm it gonna, hanging. I'm going to stride over to Mr. Plug and uh, grab the bag of money on my way, because it is mine mm -hmm. now, after all. And holding it in my hand, walk up to him with my face, because my face is going to be bloody as all hell, because that mm -hmm. took me down below half hit points. And say, so, just like kind of rattle it, like ching ching ching. He's like, oh, do you hear that? Do you hear that? It's a sound of me beating you at your own game. And Smile. that's where we're on tonight's session. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Hell yes. Hmm.